What's up guys? Diecast Clown here, gonna go over a weekly haul with yous. Uh, not much, but uh, what I got is uh, a lot of things that I've been looking for. So let's just jump right in. Um, not necessarily looking for this one, but uh, happened to stumble across it in a Target today. It's the 2012 Chevy Corvette Z06 from Johnny Lightning. Um, Velocity Yellow. We all know how I feel about that. Limited to one of 15,436. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, I do like Corvettes. One of my dream cars. So I did have to pick it up. This is very nicely detailed. Got a watch with Johnny Lightning. Um, they're good and bad at times, let's just say that. Okay, another one that I was targeting and uh, can only be found at Target, no pun intended there. Um, I had picked up previously the 2016 Ford GT Race um, in the Castro livery and I also picked up that McLaren set the 720S but um, the Plymouth Cuda the 1972 Plymouth Cuda and the Plymouth Duster funny card the snake and mongoose um, had just been eluding me for whatever fact I guess you know it was the I'll call it the scalper's delight but I uh, Stumbled into a Target the other night, and um, I was shocked. I was actually shocked. But um, that completes this series for me. I'm very thankful because I am a completionist. So um, this is one I thought that I just would just write off. And actually, all three in the next uh, two pack series that Target's going to be releasing. They're going to be hard to get. Let's just say that. Um, but I was very, very thankful, like I said, to finally come across the Snake and Mongoose set. So I grabbed one. Um, a few weeks ago, I received a random act of kindness from DNV. Um, Diecast Customs, and that was the Fast and Furious set. And um, I was told recently that there's a variation in the cards, in the packaging, I should say. And I've been looking and searching for a set on my own, and I was actually lucky enough to find one. And lo and behold, it's the variation. You can see the difference in the card art here. Uh, this one's kind of got a frame around it, one on my left hand here. Um, and this one does not. So, yeah, I was very thankful, first and foremost, to uh, DMV Customs to sending it to me. Um, it's my understanding that there's only one of these per case. The same with that um, Nissan set. But, uh, yeah, I was happy to finally find one on my own because I would like to open one and do a custom not necessarily custom but just wheel swaps to a few of these but now since I have um, a variation in the cards I'm gonna have to find another set but we'll see hopefully I'll come across one I was able to finally find one on my own so hopefully I'll find another one um, up next, we'll stick with Hot Wheels. I picked up two more of the uh, 1973 Honda Civic Custom. This one seems to be uh, pretty popular. I'd like to do a wheel swap on one, so that's why I picked up two more. 
Oops, sorry about that. And then, okay, we'll stick with Hot Wheels. Um, another random act of kindness that I got about a month ago uh, was from everybody's friend, Jake, Strictly Diecast. Um, he had sent me four of, actually sent me three of this um, Fast and Furious set. I had already found the Camaro, but he kindly sent me the, uh, and ge very generous, he sent me the Porsche, the Mazda RX-7, and the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. But uh, I walked into a Target today in um, I found the Nissan Skyline. Uh, not a big fan of this car, we all know that, but um, again, a completionist, and uh, had to pick it up. It's actually really not that bad after I picked it up and took a look at it. I like the color. I'm not a big fan of those wheels. I think, me personally, I think I would have went with a some chrome rims of sorts, but uh, that's just my opinion. So, I actually, they had um, a couple sets. So I picked up another one of the Porsche because I'd like to open one of these. And um, yeah, so I grabbed another one. Um, let's see. Sticking with Hot Wheels, I finally came across the Ford Super Deluxe. I've seen this on everyone's channel. The Back to the Future Biff, Biff's car that had, um, you know, when he was chasing Marty McFly on the hoverboard and he slammed into the manure truck. Finally found it. And I found this in a shop, right? Believe it or not. Um, doing a little grocery shopping today, and uh, stumbled across it. I was very shocked that they had some premiums in uh, this shop, right? But uh, you know, it's got the real riders and metal body, metal base. Um, everybody's seen it before, but um, very happy to add this to my collection. Very happy indeed. I wish they had more, but uh, they only had the one. They had this and they had that Super Mario Brothers van. I'm not interested in that at all, so. Um, the rest of my haul for this week are all Auto Worlds. Uh, first up in the Auto Worlds, the 2010 Chevy Camaro Hearst Edition. Um, in black, just straight black, and uh, not a huge Camaro fan. Actually, I do love early Camaros, uh, seventy up to seventy-two, and then um, they actually kind of lost my interest. I would take a seventy-eight, but that would be it. That would be the final year <laughs> for me. Uh, I do like some of the early 80s. I guess they would be considered the third gen. But um, these four, fourth gen Camaros do absolutely nothing for me. But that's, again, just my opinion. So, I mean, truth be told, first, second, and third generation Camaros are the only ones I actually like. Uh, 70 split bumper would be a dream car of mine. But um, sticking with Auto World, um, picked up the 1986 Dodge Conquest. Everybody's seen this before, and this is just in white. I do like this. I remember seeing these on the road when I was a little bit younger. They're nice. It's a new casting from Auto World. 
but we've all seen it before so I won't get you I won't hang up on it and then another order world I picked up I'm a huge Mustang fan a 2021 Shelby GT 500 with a carbon fiber track pack um, this is nice this is really nice I do like this one indeed um, sorry I was just taking it in <laughs> nicely detailed as Auto World always does um, they, they never fail but um, I saw this on the pegs and had to grab it I had a couple Mustangs when I was younger. And then last but not least, I don't normally grab these because the Auto Worlds with the plastic tires, I, I'm not really a big fan on them, of them I should say, but um, this Target exclusive kind of caught my eye when I was in there. Uh, again, I like these uh, third generation Camaros this 2012 is hideous in my opinion but I know everybody likes something different and I picked this up mainly for the 1982 Chevy Camaro Z28 but um, afterwards I thought you know for the 1099 you're not even getting rubber tires real riders if you will is it worth it probably not in my opinion but um i just that 2012 chevy camaro zl1 now don't get me wrong i get it i understand people's likes are different but um I, it just i don't like them and that's me so and as i previously stated First, second, and third generation Camaros are nice. Um, these ones, the fourth gen. <laughs> and I, I really, it doesn't even bother me that Chevy's discontinuing the Camaro. <laughs> and we all know in five, ten years, they'll bring it back and it'll be ugly as sin. <laughs> but uh, that's all I got for you guys this week. Still on the hunt for that um, Nissan five pack, but uh, I don't need it. I'd like to pick it up for a friend of mine. He, I know he's looking for it, so I'd like to grab it for him. Very nice, though. I'm very happy with this weekly haul. I would honestly have to say that this um, Mustang was by far my favorite pickup of the week so um thank you guys very much for watching i uh, just checked prior to getting on here and um back up to 494 subscribers so let's hopefully get to 500 here by the end of the year i would hope at least but uh with that being said i'll probably lose a few because that's what happens what's been happening to me previously here i uh, get close to 500 and lose subscribers so for whatever reason is what it is i really don't care i'm not uh in this for the money it's strictly for the joy and uh i enjoy the hunt so peace out clowns